You should know that your child's individualized education program team, your IEP team, must meet at least once a year. That's called the annual review, but we mm -hmm. want to delve into it a little bit deeper to explain to you what an annual review is. Okay, so at the annual review, it sounds pretty straightforward. Once a year, you get together, the parents and the school district, to develop that IEP, to develop the program. And yes, for many, many families, if not most, that happens once a year. However, what parents need to understand is that that is the minimum amount of time that needs to pass from one IEP development to another. It is not the only time mm -hmm. that a parent is entitled to review their child's program. And in fact, school districts are required to convene that team if the parent makes the request. And that could happen many times over the course of a school year. Anytime the IEP is reviewed, there are certain things that have to be done, like considering assistive right. technology device. That's an entire other conversation. Yeah. But the annual review is the one meeting a year that many districts review a child's IEP. If you feel that the performance of the child, the behavior of the child, the um, progress that you do or do not see towards the, that goal uh, or those goals in the IEP makes you want to have the meeting more frequently than that, you're entitled as a parent to request it. Now, would uh, a parent who requested an IEP meeting every day be entitled to that? Probably not. I can't within imagine reason. a court within reason. But you are entitled to request right. it, and I've had many right. cases where we've met several times over right. the course of a school year. Can I tell you, Jen, something that I hear quite a lot is a parent will say to me, well, we can't ask for, a, for an IEP team meeting yet because we can only meet once a year. Right. That's um, what they're told. Right. And, and often that misperception of how often you can meet a year is out there. And so the most important thing that you need to know is that you must meet at least once a year, but you can call an IEP team meeting at any, not an IEP, yeah, an IEP team meeting at any time during the year for a legitimate purpose. Sure. Um, and and, that, and that's an important thing to know. It's very important because things change over the course of a year. You perhaps thought your child needed a service and it's not happening. Or you thought your child was getting a service and then the school year starts and you discover that, in fact, they're not getting it. There's lots of reasons that one might need to. A kid could end up in a hospital. A kid's needs right. could change. There's so many reasons you right. might need to do it. Now, when is the annual review? It depends on your child. Oh, yeah. Many school districts, the date that the child was found eligible for services initially is Starts that child's annual review. So right. if in February of a certain year is when that meeting met and meeting met, meeting got together and they said that's when this is where we find this child eligible, then in February of the next year by that date is the annual review date. For some school districts they'd like to call it the date of the child's birthday. Here's the thing, the school district cannot go more than one calendar year without getting together as an IEP team to review the document. And I think as, a, as an end note on what we'd like you to know is even though there is this thing called an annual review, you can meet more than once a year.